I'm Erin Kyle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the AORN Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. The updated guideline for complementary care expands on the previous version of this guideline, which focused on using complementary care interventions to reduce perioperative pain and anxiety by including holistic methods for optimizing the overall health and well being of perioperative patients. The guideline author, Mary Alice Anderson, noted that this update includes a more comprehensive review of the literature than the previous version. And this literature review had a much broader scope because of the expanding definition of complementary care. New sections include selecting interventions, patient assessment, planning interventions, policies and procedures for complementary care, and specific complementary care interventions, including supportive education, dietary and herbal interventions, stress diversion, visualization, electrical stimulation, and biofield therapies. In addition, sections that were a part of the previous version of the guideline, including those on music, aromatherapy, acupuncture and acupressure, now called acupoint, and massage, which is now called massage and reflexology, were updated with new recommendations based on the evidence. Individualized and multimodal complementary care interventions should be planned and include collaboration with patients as soon as possible after the surgery is scheduled. This allows time to get a really good plan together with the patient. The plan of care should be obtained before implementing any intervention, and it should be reassessed during and after implementation of the intervention, and the patient's response should be assessed to adjust the intervention as needed based on feedback from the patient and an evaluation of the intended outcomes.